Welcome guys to another episode on the Extra Mile. My name is Alex and welcome to the tour of the sim rig. A lot of you guys have been asking me about details about the rig and uh, I think it's high time that I do an updated video about its current condition. So um, let's dive right in and start at the bottom. At the bottom of the rig I've mounted the floor to four little stands as you can see here and to those stands I've uh, mounted the butt kickers. Um, I will link every product that is used in this build in the description so you can check the details. The butt kickers are powered by two DJ1000 amps. The seat is a regular Sparkle seat that I got from a car shop well over 10 years ago and as you can see it's holding up pretty well still. The seat cushion is starting to cave in a little bit, but that's just a minor problem. The pedals are Fanatex Clubsport version 3 pedals, the inverted ones. Really great brake feel, really solid. I really, really enjoy these pedals. The handbrake is also a Fanatec product, the Club Sport handbrake. I really enjoy the sturdy feeling of this one. Uh, has not let me down so far. The shifter is a TSWH shifter, which is quite expensive, but it does work. I've been using this one for over two years now, maybe even closer to three, and it has not skipped a beat so far. I have modded the shifter with a gear stick from an E46 BMW and the shift boot um, that goes with it. Looks pretty nice, I think. All the switches in the center console actually do work and can be used in game. You will find the hardware that you need for that in the description. Um, it's just a button box that you connect to the PC through USB and you connect all the switches to that box and then it works. In the center console I've mounted an Amazon Fire tablet because it just fit perfectly in terms of the screen dimensions. And on that I have installed a software called SimDash which I will also link in the description. And with that software you can connect the tablet to the PC through Wi-Fi and then display uh, data from different games. Here for example we see the layout from Assetto Corsa. And now we get to the air vents, which actually work as well. Um, I'm using a fan controller, which you can see right here, which is usually used for overclocked PCs or just regular PCs to control the fan speeds. And I have connected two PC fans to that, which are mounted in the dash and blow air through the original air vent system of the dash. And that is a welcome little breeze, especially for longer VR sessions. And last but certainly not least we have this steering wheel which is an original BMW M Sport steering wheel mounted to an AccuForce base from Sim Experience which is very strong and gives very detailed feedback. So that is my sim rig as it stands right now in 2019 and I really really love it. It was a whole lot of work to get it together but it was certainly worth it. But since the best hardware is nothing without software, let's take a look at that side. Alright, so first let me show you what this looks like from the Windows side of things. Um, here we have the pedals, which uh, are a separate controller. The handbrake also connects to the pedals. Um, this is the steering wheel. You can use this as a standard Windows controller. Uh, you don't need the separate software, which we will look at in a second. Um, so this is recognized as a controller. In Windows you have all kinds of buttons that you can use here and uh, yeah so it works as a standard windows controller as well you don't need the separate software this is the shifter um, this one here and this is the joystick the extra joystick for uh, the buttons which are here all of them are functional and uh, yeah I really like to use those <laughs> Uh, it's really a lot of fun to have these here. So, all right. With that being said, let's um, start the software. And this is actually quite cool. Um, you can do a lot of things with this. This works with the four butt kickers and also with um, the wheel. And what we will do now actually is improve our setup for Project Cars 2 because I don't know if something in the game has changed that made the force feedback feel a little bit 
different but um, I felt that it's a little bit too light recently and I want to give it a little bit more of a solid feel so we will do that and one great tip that I can give you is to start Project Cars 2 in Windows mode uh, in windowed mode in a really small resolution like that we will start our wheel software as well because then we can do live editing of the force feedback profile which will be extremely helpful um, if you always have to exit the game change something test it again um, every single change can take a few minutes and that's uh, way too long all right I can feel the sim vibe working I do get engine vibrations but that's the first thing that we would change um, the sim vibe is a little bit too soft so let's <coughs> change that and as soon as I change this you can hear it actually and now it's softer again um, so that makes it relatively easy to tune all of the single effects so let's put that somewhere around here I would say okay it's quite tricky to drive <laughs> it's quite tricky to drive like this but it will have to do okay just want to make sure how it feels right now just a little bit soft could be a little bit more intensity in there let's see what happens if we increase the in-game force feedback oh yeah that's nice I can feel more of the curbs through the wheel there's a little bit more weight to it that was good in fact we might actually increase that even more a little bit let's go to 90% yeah that's good let's see what this one does oh yeah that makes it heavier that's pretty awesome that's exactly what I need that is the oh that's actually quite heavy <laughs> that's the effect that I was missing it's a pretty sensitive effect just 2% make a huge difference here a bit better let's see what this does oh yeah okay it's really interesting to immediately feel the difference in the wheel it's quite cool but we should keep this one low as it was maybe a little bit more because it makes everything heavier all right I think I think I'm happy with that the wheel feels heavy I think this was uh, just a few percentage points uh, points on that one that was what did the trick so yeah this is a tip um, to uh, tune your settings live so to speak um, you can do this with any other game as well, of course, but Assetto Corsa still feels pretty good, the setup, I really like that. And um, this is the software, so you can see you have all kinds of different effects. Um, these are all the effects that I use for the steering um, on top of the in-game force feedback, which we have here. And uh, what I usually do is I turn everything off and just uh, use one one effect at the time and see what it does how it feels when I really crank it up and then I di start to dial it in and then you end up um, with uh, a setup like this let's finish with a nice little burnout 
<laughs> so yeah guys um i hope you enjoyed watching i'll see you in the next episode bye bye